Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, with being signed to, to Eminem, did you think you were going to get be closer to Eminem? Hmm. Actually, yeah. But then I got around him and realized we two people that are like get in the room and get quiet. You know what really? I'm saying? Like we both quiet individuals who just, I'll be just thinking about getting into the studio for doing my own song. And I can see it in his face. All he's thinking about doing is getting in the studio going, and rapping. Going to be creative. Yeah. So it's, I think that's why I work. Cause he never tried to jump in my creative space and tell right. me go this direction or like, cause you know what I'm saying? The Eminem fan base, sometimes they don't really align with the music I drop. You know what I'm saying? Right. And, and accepting that was hard. Cause sometimes they be cussing me out. Like I'm not rapping fast enough or like I'm, I don't got enough bars or they don't understand the hood stuff I'm talking about. And so, yeah, when they first yeah. signed me, they was on my bumper. They really? love me now because, you know what I'm saying, they know I get off and I will bar right. up anybody. But, yeah, it was tough at first. But I did it. I think just seeing other, the way I looked at, like, other artists and they, like, uh, label owners, I just thought it was going to be that. But we close, like, mentally. Really? Like, not necessarily, like, need to talk to him. Every time I come around him, he tell me what I need to hear. And then that's it. And how, how in, oh, go ahead, love. I was just going to say, like, what advice has he given you that's really stuck with you? Because I'm sure, mm -hmm. he's, like you said, he tells uh, yeah. you a lot of things. But what's something you always carry with you? Two things is me not taking uh, blogs personal when they give me, like, bad ratings. Like, uh, it was this dude named Anthony Fontaine. I love that name dropping. His name, like, Needle Drop on YouTube. He, like, famous for, like, uh, rating people albums. Um, oh, Lord. So he, he gave me, like, a 7.5. And obviously, my brain, I think I'm supposed to have a 100 out of 10. He right, gave right, Eminem right. a 2. So oh, Eminem yeah. was like, yo, he give me bad grades every time. You can't take that personal because, like, some people just not going to understand it. You know what right. I'm saying? I got to have consistent belief in myself. It can't be based off what other people saying. So there's that. And he also told me to stop stage diving so much because wow. he got sued or almost got sued or had to sock somebody something. He just told me to stop stage diving, but I love stage diving. I love jumping on people's head. Right. I mean, I don't want to get to the point. Yeah, I mean, I want to get to the point where everybody says I'm the best rapper in the world. Right. That's my ego. That's my rapper ego. As but that's the reality. Be. So. If it comes with me having to like be that famous, I guess so. But Eminem can't leave his house. Also, have you like, have you noticed? Damn. Have you witnessed that being signed to him? Yeah, that he can't I, I, I seen him. He don't probably notice. I've seen it. Feel like he trapped in his celebrity. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Not like in a bad way, but he just so popular. Yeah, he, he can't go nowhere without being not recognized. He he could sell out a hundred thousand seats yeah, anywhere, easy. anywhere. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah, it's hard, and, and it's crazy because we do want it. We think we want it. Yeah, but it's but hard work. Yeah, you, you could, don't. You, yeah. Eminem can't even go drop a deuce in this bathroom here Nothing. without somebody walking in and saying, "Man, Eminem took He's a shit. Eminem. He's arguing. You know what I'm saying? He's one of the biggest artists ever. <laughs>